What's up guys, this is Ashish Tiwari here and you are watching Technotips ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna discuss about jQuery data tables example with server side processing. Okay, so before watching this, please watch my previous video that is part 46 of this video series. In that video, I have explained how can you perform add edit operation using jQuery data table. Okay, so let's get it started. So in the previous tutorial, I have explained uh, how can you perform the add edit operation in using jQuery data table okay so let's have the view of it so when I click on this edit button it will show me the pop-up where I can perform the edit operation okay and when I click on this new button then it will show me an empty form where I can insert new record okay so this is the basic example of jquery data table where i have all the functionality like uh, adding a new record editing record searching then paging and then this shorting functionality so notice that i have not provided this searching and paging and then this sorting functionality okay i only have provided this list of 15 records to the jquery data table and it has given me this functionality by default okay so this is nothing but the client side processing okay so in client side processing we don't need to care about the searching and then this paging and then this shorting okay so right now i i have 15 records then it would be fine my uh, page load time would be fine okay but let's suppose I have large amount of record like 1 lakh 2 lakhs so in that case it will give me an error that is pay script loading error okay and it's not recommended to uh, load 1 lakhs of record on the page okay so it will be very heavy so in that case we will just use the server side processing okay where uh, we will render few amount of data okay and in that case also we need to uh, take care of this search functionality and this paging and then this shorting by ourselves okay so let's fulfill our today's objective so first of all you just need to understand the basic attributes which are being used by the data table so here I have created a class that is data uh, data table params where I have mentioned all the parameters which are being used by the data tables okay so you don't need to remember this just copy and paste it here okay and uh, I'll just provide it on my official blog that is technotips tutorial.blogspot.com okay so uh, these are the uh, these are the attributes and here I have the constructor and this is the parameterized constructor okay so you don't need to worry about this just copy these attributes like uh, i display start and display length then i column as search and then i shorting column as echo okay and rest thing you can leave it right now okay so now the second step is to enable the server side processing how can you enable that okay so for that you just need to use this b server side okay colon true so this will enable your server side processing so pass this parameter okay and then second you just need to specify the ajax source so this ajax source and this is nothing but your url let's copy this and here we will call this okay and instead of aa data we will use the fn server data okay and here we will call a function function and inside that i'll just receive 
these parameters like s source then a a o data okay and then fn function callback okay so this is nothing but my ajax source that is this this uh, url and ao data is the array of parameters uh, which are being by uh, being used by the data table and fn callback is the internal function uh, which is used by the data table okay so now here i will just call the this ajax here just call this ajax okay and here you just need to pass this parameter so like data should be AO data okay and then in URL you will have this as source okay and after success Ajax success you will call this function okay and rest thing will be fine okay like AO column so you will you already have knowledge about this okay now you just need to call this function directly here on the page load so instead of calling this function I'll just call it or I can remove this okay so you just need to use this b server side true ajax and then this function server data then you just need to pass this parameter and ao data is necessary i'll just use it into the controller okay so now go to the controller and here just stop that and i'll just pass the necessary data table parameters so data table params let's say param okay just I'll just receive all the parameter which are being used by the data table okay and here I have just returned the JSON directly list okay so here I'll just return the AO data sorry AA data remember this a data should be equal to list okay then I just need to specify uh, the echo so it should be oh sorry JSON return new and pass this array okay and here you need to use s echo s echo should be equal to params dot echo okay so I'll just discuss it later why we are returning this okay so you have just returned this list and then this s echo and also you need to uh, specify how much record we are just returning to the data table so let's say total records okay so let's say I total records this is the attributes so it should be the list dot sorry list dot count okay we are just returning the total count of this list okay so let's run this project and let's see what's gonna happen So here you go 
and here you got your data from server side okay so I have just returned the total count that is 15 entries but here we are just uh, it's displaying me zero zero okay and here the paging is also uh, not working okay so and also the search functionality will also not work okay so these thing we need to handle it server side okay so we will see uh, it in a next tutorial so first of all we need to handle this zero so for that we just need to return one more attribute that is we need to tell the total I display total records okay so it should be also equal to list dot count and comma so we have just passed this I display total records I total records then this echo okay so when we call the ajax function so it, it is asynchronous okay so this echo will change every time okay so it will just tell the uh, data table uh, it it just maintain the sequence okay so let's let's run this i'll just explain it so here you go and here again you are getting zero maybe the spelling mistake so it should be the total display records so make sure the attribute name should not be incorrect okay so i total display records okay so you just need to remember that the attribute name should not be incorrect okay otherwise you will get an error so here you go and here just you got see showing one out of ten okay and the paging is also corrected okay so here the paging will not work okay when you click on the second then it will not work okay and first also and the searching will also not work okay so this thing you just need to handle it uh, at server side okay so okay so let's try to put a big point here I'll just need to show one thing so just refresh it now check the parameters what parameters so we are just getting okay so here you will see the I columns so numbers of columns are 4 and then display length is 10 okay and then display start is 0 okay and then I shorts column shortable by default it is sh uh, shortable by 1 and here you will see s equal okay so this value is right now 1 okay now continue this now here now click on the second button now this time you will notice that the is display start is 10 and display length it will show only 10 records okay and the start length would be uh, display start it will show from the 10 to 10 now with the help of this I display length and uh, display start you can perform the paging operation okay and you can uh, return uh, data according to this okay and here you will see the echo 
gets updated here too okay now continue this now again click on one now this time the echo will be updated to three okay means whenever you click on this then echo will be updated so it means uh, it will tell uh, the jQuery data table uh, the correct sequence means that uh, uh, suppose you are getting the record from the Ajax and it is asynchronous so it will not give you uh, the sequential data means in a sequence those uh, will perform uh, very fast it will return okay so in that case we are just returning the echo okay the current echo to the data table and here we are just returning the total records and total display records okay and AA data okay so remember AA data and AO data is different so AO data is the parameter which are being used by the uh, data table okay see the parameters are there and uh, here in this tutorial for this tutorial you can use a uh, few of this parameter you don't need such large you can use this only echo because we are using only you echo here see echo and we are just passing this a data and so in the next tutorial we will uh, we will uh, we will use few of others parameter okay so hope you understand this and uh, also we need to update this uh, we need to perform the search functionality and uh, this paging and then the shorting okay so whenever you call on any uh, any button like see when you search anything a then it will hit the server hit the server with with the parameter like see as search equal to a okay so let's say when you perform the shorting so it will call the server so every time it will call the server so let's say when I click on this edit edit button then it it is not calling the server because I just used the uh, here I have used be sortable false maybe okay mm. see I have not used this uh, when I click on this then it will call this so in that case uh, you just need to suppose you don't want to uh, uh, just uh, you you just want to disable this uh, feature then you just need to use uh, p sortable false okay then in that case uh, it will not call the controller okay so this is my custom uh, anchor so in the in this case uh, it will not hit the controller otherwise it will okay so hope you like this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will see the search functionality okay so I'm done here thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you like it then give us a thumbs up and share this tutorial among your friend and help them too okay thank you very much have a great day